Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be checking out FL Cloud, which is FL Studios alternative to Splice that is now built straight into the DAW with the new 21.2 update. I've started a track tonight and I realized I needed some different drums and I figured this is a perfect opportunity to go ahead and try this out for the first time and see how it is because it is now officially released alongside the rest of that update. So as I say, this is very similar to Splice. You can see we've opened it up, we got it started here with a trial. And just like Splice, you know, you could type whatever you want and you got all these samples here and all you gotta do is just click the little plus and download them if you want. And then you can go ahead and put them in your project and we're gonna see if we could find some drums that could maybe work with this track I'm working on here today. However, you can also use this in its own ways. Like for example, if you're opening up a brand new project, you could get like a nice melodic loop which can then be used to like start a track from scratch, basically. It's a really nice song starter. There's a whole bunch of different options you could use here. This is also where you can get drums, but with all that being said, we're gonna go ahead and go straight into taking a listen to some of the things we got here and seeing if we could find something for our track. So right when I open it for the first time, this is what we got. Obviously, I'm not gonna include a piano loop in here because it's not gonna be in key with what I'm working on, but that's a really cool sound. You could totally start a track with that, but just going through some of the things we have to start off here, cool little like reversed intro to a beat and again as i say the workflow it's completely built into the daw now which makes this a lot better than like any third party solution very cool like rim snare that's nice we got a kick not into that kick personally but that one's cool i want that we're just keeping that for the future what's really good and kind of the purpose of this video as well like informational you can get a free month of fl cloud normally this is something that is going to cost money. There are actually free samples as well if you just use the regular free version forever and you can keep those. But right now, I have a month of this and I can just go and download any sample I want and then it's mine to keep forever. So be sure to do that. Just like, um, I think you have to go to the ImageLine website and activate your account for that trial. It doesn't even ask for like a card number or anything. It's literally just a one month trial and then that's it, it's over. So after that, you could choose to pay for it if you want or of course just go back to using the completely free version. There are some limitations, but there are, like I say, completely free sounds that you're free to just go ahead and pull whenever you want. So we're gonna go ahead and type in DNB because I'm making a drum and bass track and see if we could find some things that go into this. You see, I've actually downloaded a couple already just because I thought these loops sounded cool. Like, that is a sick drum loop. It's not actually gonna work for this track I'm working on and I'll show you a little bit of what that sounds like just so you know. We're just going for like emotional, maybe liquid drum and bass, I don't know. So this is a brand new project to be honest, but the drop's gonna be like over here. So we're trying to find some nice chill drums that are gonna fit in this area. So like I say, this one is amazing, but not for this. I really like the top, so that'll probably be in a more like dance floor thing. Also pulled this kick cause it's nice, but let's see if we can find some nice liquid samples. Cool little bass shot. Nice snare. I'm downloading that. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to find a loop or if I'm going to actually build it out myself yet, but we'll see. These are kind of aggressive. That is ridiculous. <laughs> nice little airy snare. We're going to grab that. That's cool. <laughs> so you see, it's just literally the possibilities are endless. Right now we're doing drum and bass, but even though like that's what this project's gonna be, I'll show you guys some other stuff. First, I'm gonna type in liquid, see if there's anything specifically for this. And they are updating this over time. So if there's something that's like missing right now, you can grab that later if they add it in, but nice drum fill. I'm gonna want that for stuff for sure. I wanna find out where these go when I'm downloading them. I'm sure like that's obvious and you know, there's just gonna be a folder for it, but I need to know so that way I could Maybe rearrange them if I want, throw them in my samples folder. Like I said, this is my first time using this, so we're just taking a quick listen. This is not liquid. Nice little fill. Okay, so actually, I'm struggling to find like stuff that I think is going to fit in liquid. Maybe that's something they need to add more samples from in the future, but if that's a problem, that just means we're going to go ahead and build it ourselves. So let's type in kick, get a nice chill kick to start us off. 
some of these seriously knock. That one is perfect. So I assume you just do this. Yes, that's how that works. Now the kick is in our project. So we're gonna need to side chain this. That's not important to like the FL cloud side of this video. That's a more technical thing. So I'm gonna skip to when that's done so you don't have to watch that painstaking setup. Okay, sidechain is now set up so we could go ahead and have this sound good while we demo some drums and stuff. So we're just gonna get our kicks in place, then we're gonna go and try and find a nice snare to complement this, and then either just build some top loops or throw some in. So I like that kick, we might swap it out, or we might not, we'll see. Listen to a few more. There's a lot to choose from, which is nice. A lot of these are kind of bright for this specific song though, but that's okay because there are a good share of dark ones that we use instead. That one's interesting. <laughs> that one knocks, I like it. See, there's just so many good samples here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move to snare because this is probably gonna be one of the first things you ever type in if you're like me, you're gonna wanna listen to snares. So we need that or we could go for a snap too. I think either will work. But obviously, snare is very broad. Like, we could get giant dubstep ones or just, like, chill ones that would fit in this. That one's kind of nice. I want to download that. Let's see how it sounds, though, in context. Might not be the snare, or it might be. It's not it. Keep going. Kind of want, like, lo-fi type thing. That one's cool. I already downloaded it before. Sort of like that. Might work. I'm gonna keep looking though. So you know, this is just the process, finding drums that fit in whatever you're making at the time. This is a nice trap one, but it might sound cool. Yes, I like that a lot. But you see, this workflow is just amazing. It's right here on the side. Like normally I just hit all and this is where like my sample library is, but instead we're just in the sounds tab and you just drag and drop. There's no downloading it from, say, Splice, then having to move that from, like, whatever folder it's in to there or organize it first. It's just here, and it works. It's very nice. We're going to type in 172, which isn't really a typical BPM. Mainly it's 174. We're going to see if there's stuff at 172. There is. That's cool. Cool riser. This is what we're looking for. Just like top stuff. Top loop 172. Perfect. I wonder if that works in context. Let's listen. Why is it playing twice? Oh yeah. Okay, that's not the one for this track, but that is a really cool loop. Like I'm happy to have that for something else. Cool little like song starters you could use. That one's cool. Not really finding anything I want to use in this one, but of course I could type in top loop and just stretch it to fit. Like we could find something at 174 and just change it. So maybe I'll type in 174. I am noticing like the search is a bit strict. Like in theory, you'd know what I'm trying to find with that, but like this kind of doesn't and you got to be a little more broad, but again, it is new. That's only a kick and snare, so that's not going to help us here. I will make a troll song out of that. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Cool bass synth. Not exactly what we're looking for right now, though. That's a shout. I should probably type in break, because it'll give me stuff like this. And of course, you're not just limited to this. You could always use your own samples, drag stuff in that works instead as well. Like, you, this is just another option of things to pull from. That one's cool. Yeah, we're going to type in break. This should give us just nice breaks. Or that.
That might work very nicely. Let's give it a go. It's downloading it right there. See how that was. That's cool, but we got to get rid of some of the extra kicks in there and just EQ them out or something because it's conflicting with our drum pattern. Something like that just for tops might be very cool. Yeah, I like that. Might go ahead and add in some like rides or something just to make it a little more interesting. I don't know if that's going to be samples or if I just do that with a drum plugin, but you know, we'll try. So type in ride. That's not a ride. That's a ride. Okay. Yeah, something like this just like constantly like do this. Obviously quieter, but let's get it in. Shorten it a bit, I think. Do this. Yeah, actually. Yeah, quiet like that. And we will go ahead and bring in our nice little ARP from before. Go with everything else. So you see how that sounds like here. We were able to put together something nicely with that, but we of course want to check out other sounds that might be different than what I'm making in this video. So let's type in dubstep and just see what kind of stuff comes up as well. I'm sure you might be curious. Big EDM melody. Vocal chops, cool. And they're just getting like drums here, but... Interesting. Not exactly a uh, dubstep, but hey. I guess we could also filter by genre up here. Probably a little better than the way I'm doing it, because you see like search is kind of giving me different types of things. So you know what, let's actually... Let's not type in anything search-wise. Let's just go to like EDM and pop and just see some of the cool stuff we get. Nice 808. Cool riser. That's a cool one. So you can see the possibilities here are very endless. Like there's so many cool samples here. Highly recommend you guys go and try this out. Let me know in the comments below what you think of FL Cloud. Are you using it in your tracks so far? Made anything good with it? Let me know. But drop a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more future content. That is going to wrap us up here. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.